Swansea City 3, Crewe Alexandra 2, and in Division 4, Carlisle United 1, Wrexham 0. The main rugby union results of the day, Aberavon going down to the leading English club side by 32 points to 6, Abertillery 6, Plymouth Albion 13. Bridgen's win over Ebbo Vale contained two tries apiece from Richard Wintle and Alid Williams, and Arwell Parry scored nine points. Remember, he's playing against his old club side there. He's now pushed his season's tally to 99 points. Cross Keys 34, Panath 6. Glamorgan Wanderers 25, Exeter 7, nine points for Mike Goldsworthy. A very good win for Swansea in London over the Harlequins by 21 points to 14. Meistig 16, Pontypool 21. Matthew Silver 13 points. Good win for Cardiff against the old rivals Newport at Rodney Parade by 29 points to 16. No details of the scoring in that match as yet. Pontypridd 22, Richmond 13. Tries for Pontypridd by Alad Richards 2 and Chris Conway also 2 tries. Roslyn Park 15, London Welsh 4. London Welsh struggling against their London club neighbours. Newbridge going down to the London side despite tries by Steve Feely and Ken Waters, the hooker. Torquay 10, South Wales Police 41, 17 points for Ian Stevens, David Harris two tries, and finally Wrexham going down at home at Bryn Estyn against Tredegar. Well now there cannot be another rugby fixture that captures the imagination more than Finetley against Neath. Finetley have not lost to Neath at home since 1983, and this season they're unbeaten at Stradley Park. But Neath came in today's match having already scored an incredible 52 tries this season. That in itself a real threat to the Scarlet's ground record. We're going to join the match a couple of minutes old. There's no score. The referee is Ken Branston of Cardiff. And as usual, Phil Bennett, former Finetley player, is at Stradley Park with our commentator, Lynn Davis. And there we see Yayan Evans, whom we last saw, a disappointed man on the touchline at Ballymore Park in Brisbane, having dislocated his shoulder playing for the Lions. People here at Stradley very glad to see him back in action. So number five for Finetley looking around is Phil Davis, the captain. The advantage is Flanetti's. It's won by Flanetti. It's Iwan Jones that starts the drive. Douglas at nine tries to release that ball. Now it's moved into midfield. Collie Stevens takes a look at those posts. Hits the post. Indeed, Edmonds, Yeah, and Evans. Can he get there? Loses possession. And that really would have been drama for Evans because we saw him score such a dramatic try in that last test in Brisbane. And the shoulder already injured and you and Jones driving into the ball near to the knees line you see good rough ball coming back here not the best pass from Douglas because it's high so Stephen says I'll go for the three points it looks to be flying between the posts off the upright now watch very carefully it's a bouncing ball Evans is on the spot goes to regather it and he's down there and I'm sure he's done his shoulder in again well just three minutes one touch of the ball and what disappointment for Ian Evans leaving the field probably at this level for good so onto the field comes number 16 Carwin Davis a Welsh international replacing a Welsh international but it does mean that Steve Bowling moves across from left wing to right wing so a defensive position here for Neath and really their control will have to be spot on Mark Jones is the number eight with the control feeds Bridges would stepped off but that was child this is Co colin stevens to nigel davis a speculative kick that gives davis a chance to run higgs does excellently to release norbert he looks for the spaces not quite the proper use there there was space way downfield for Thorburn, but kick just sliding off the outside of his foot that's the Flanetti hooker andrew lamberton a welsh schools and youth international as douglas gets a pass away miraculously away Michael Davis again a little chip the ball goes free but this time the hack ahead comes from Thorburn it's a chase between he and Nigel Davis and finally Bowling is the man that gets back there just to clear pressure for Fnetti and a, da a danger area for Fnetti this afternoon in the line out but Phil made as well to tap it there and watch the beautiful take by Stevens that was superb but I felt Davis should have moved the ball then it wasn't the best directed kick and when it goes loose Paul Thorburn shown good opportunity, hacks it on the field, and he shows indeed very good pace. And it's only there he is driving the ball on, it's desperate defence, eventually by bowling, which puts the ball into touch. That's Paul Thorburn with the restart. He's well placed, indeed offers Cambria a chance that he fails to take advantage of, but it's driven on by Fnetti. 
It's killed by me, but the referee decides that the ball had been nudged forward. Lawrence Delaney finally gets his head, head in. Number three, number seven is Iwan Jones. Douglas waits. That Stevens. Nigel Davis looks for a little break, stays on his feet, gets the pass. That's well done by the Fnefi centre, taken on by Jones. Now it's set back perfectly. Stevens with space and support. He's through the gap. Can he get there? Yes, he can. What a try, Stevens. This lefty's put in, and watch the good control of number eight here, Julian Williams, making the ball perfect for Mark Douglas. Now, the key man for me is Nigel Davis here, but watch the support he gets off the shot. There he is, number seven, the flanker. He gets there to support him, and he sets off, taking a few neat defenders in and laying back perfect ruck ball. And when it comes to Mark Douglas, you see there's a gap there for Stevens. He's very quick with those 15, 20 metres. He's through, bridges coming across, but you're not going to stop the number 10, and he's over. That's an excellent try for Stevens. 14 minutes gone then, and Fnefi lead Neath by four points. There's the old stage of Phil Main, still keenly looking forward to facing the other All Blacks, the ones arriving on Tuesday. And it's he that wins uh, the other Phil Davis, captain, that does the tidy off. Into midfield, Nigel Davis, a short and pass on the first is Simon Davis. Set back, Fnefi not quite there quickly enough, but this is Bird. Space for Stevens, a little rubber kick again behind Edmonds, but Edmonds quick to spot that and to defend. What an encouraging start this young man has had. A try to his credit and lots of probing little kicks. Oh, Kembury, who's yet to finish a game for Neath at first class level, playing at lock opposite Phil Davis there. This time it's Llewellyn that wins it, but not cleanly. And indeed, Neath again on the retreat, try and salvage something. Lamberton is in there. Douglas, the short little pass. Jones drives on, but no space there. Douglas will have something with the back row sorted out. Douglas goes on a little run and unopposed goes Bowling. Simplicity itself, back row move and Bowling, having moved across from left wing, scores on the right. Again, the score coming from the scrum. Watch very carefully for the passing of Julian Williams. There's the pass to Mark Douglas, but watch all the Neath defenders come in for Mark Douglas. Edmonds left his man, left the winger free, and he's over in the corner. Good try for bowling. Into the second quarter then, and Fnefi with two tries now lead by eight points to nil. And that's taken against the head. Again, we see Lamberton in trouble at that scrum, not in position to strike. Jones doesn't deliver well though, and indeed, it's on the retreat, and it's Bateman that does the saving work for Neath. Kembury is there as well. He's retrieved that. Can they now win it and spin it? It's being smuggled slowly. There's offside play, and indeed the referees decide that Fnefi are killing that as well. And Phillips takes it quickly, throws a dummy. Put to, this is Phil May, this intercept. Now Fnefi will look to counter, and indeed the referee this time decides that David Pickering was handling on the ground. Kevin Phillips so keen to take the shot and he did a plane into the wind. Good tactics really, but a wild pass here. Kicked into Phil May's hands and Lefty eventually they go to ground with the ball. And you can see Mr. Braxton perfectly placed there. There he feels the David Pickett and his penalty to Fnefi. Well, a kick of 50 metres for Jeff Bird, and that's an indication of the strength of the wind as well. Fnefi needing to make full use of this wind, and indeed that swings high and true between the posts, and Jeff Bird then gets his first points of the game. A penalty to Bird, his total for the season now moves to 81. It's still the short penalty move as Llewellyn drives on it's on its way back this is Bridges right side standing off is 
Jones, lovely little pass inside to Morris, and another good pass to Bridges. What good interplay from Neath. This is the typical Neath we've, we've grown to know. And indeed, Canetti in desperation again killed that ball. And again, there's a little unpleasantness as tempers are just boiling over. So the referee decides that uh, the two main culprits are Brian Williams of Neath and Lawrence Delaney of Canetti, Andrew Kembury also involved. He's the tall, blonde man with a headband. And you just look at this short penalty. Look at the support coming off your picture now of the Neath forwards. There's Pickering in, making the ball available. I love this hand in. Here it comes. Mark Jones, first of all. Look for number six. The flank forward there is him back in his back row. Somebody else coming deep. Bridges coming deep. And again, as he's tackled, somebody else is there. Kevin Phillips. Excellent support play by the by the Neath forwards. Driving up, setting the ruck. And there's where the referee has ruled that Rollins the Rainey came offside. And in this then, to register Neath's first points of the game. And indeed, at last, and in the dying seconds of the first half, Paul Thorburn kicks his side's first points of the game. Well, a problem there for Neath as their lock forward, Gary Llewellyn, leaves the field. He is a, an important cog in the Neath machine and uh, replacing him now will pose a problem because the replacement is a back row man in number 16, Roland Phillips. Not a bad replacement. So at half time, both teams showing a well-balanced attack and defence. With the score then 11 points to 3, Llanetli in the lead, we rejoin the match about four minutes into the second half. No change in the score, nor the commentator, Lynn Davis. To number six, and again, it's taken against the head by Neath. Lamerton having problems in winning his own ball there. Pickering is the man that dummies, then gets Bridges on a little charge, supported by 16, Roland Phillips. Now Neath want to win this. In that scrum half is Thorburn of all people, and again, the option is the high testing kick for Bird to collect. And he drops that and indeed has to scramble that back over his own try line. So Ball's tactics proving fruitful for Neath at the moment. And that's the inviting gap on that narrow side, which will beckon for Mark Jones. Lots of open options open here as Bridges takes on the Tenetti defence. Phillips is in there quickly. Roland, the substitute that is. Now Bridges will have to burrow for that. Has a little look. Standing off is number eight, Mark Jones. Now he sets off on a charge, but Bridges is dummies. Yes, he gets a try for his efforts as well. Neath putting pressure on the scrums and a lovely pass by Mark Jones. Bridges, a good tackle by Flanetti, and he goes to ground looking for the support of his forwards, lays it back perfectly. Now, this was a brilliant bit of rugby by the scrum half. Just see him getting up there in your shot, and just watch Mark Jones is off your shot, ready for the charge. The Flanetti forwards are all looking for Mark Jones. Bridges sees what's happening. There he comes back, Mark Jones. The Flanetti forwards are waiting to come the charge. Bridges realizes this quick as a flash, and he's over. A superb piece of football by the scrum half. So that's the conversion attempt to face is Paul Thorburn as he strikes that absolutely true. Converts Bridges' his try. So he now has five points. Neath now nine points, Hanafi eleven. This time the scrum steady. Rock solid for Neath, and again the option is the same. It's high, parallel with the touchline. Bird this time throws a speculative pass into midfield. It's collected by Carwin Davis. That's Douglas. This is Jeff Bird. But what a good tackle! Lovely covering tackle by Martin Morris.
any advantage at this line out very difficult to uh, know who's doing the illegal work there as Douglas so strong starts off on another driving run taken on by May this is better from Finetti now they drive again to Lamerton the hooker the momentum just broken for a second though as Ewan Jones now takes it on again they're all in concert as Douglas finally gets it away not cleanly so and Colin Stevens hacks it upfield Bateman looks for a little break indeed finds space looks for support quickly there is Brian Williams yet again and finally Braxton decides that it won't emerge from there Lots of space for Bridges here. The ball chooses the kick again. And indeed, confusion there as, and indeed, Bird especially will come away from that. Not pleased with the fact that his wing got in the way. Really, it's the fullback's ball. The winger covers behind. Leaf using the narrow side. And Jason Ball playing a fly off. Puts the high up and under. And just watch now. Hanging there, it should have been Bird's ball coming forward. He should have been calling, no communication. The two of them get there, bang, flash, and a nasty bang for Jeff Bird. So Phil Davis with his team, a two point advantage with a quarter of an hour gone, and this is the second half. And indeed, the ball won by Mark Jones. Bridges, though, unceremoniously dumped by Julian Williams. Yuan Jones now with the support in the shape of Evans. Now it's laid back. This is Douglas. 10 is Stevens. 13 is Simon Davis. That's Nigel. What a very nearly a good pass from Nigel Davis. Just knocked down as Jason Ball intercepts. It hacked upfield. Bowling's the man that keeps it alive. 10 is Colin Stevens. This is Carwin Davis. Shows it. Checks inside. Higgs checks inside again. Five is Phil Davis. Still going. This giant lock. This is Gary Jones. He'll score, but the pass is forward. they come to the 22 the pass and it couldn't have been more than an inch or so but it makes no difference the try isn't allowed and you see Clatty backs handling Nigel Davis tries to get the pass in dangerous play and the ball's loose it's anybody's ball it's not forward and fair play against the wind great counter attacking by Finetti there it's out to Colin Stevens and he sees acres of space good covering by Morris, but watch Carmen Davis. There's the kick ahead, and he dummies it, and he's back inside. Looking for support, and it comes in the shape of Phil Davis. But look at Mr. Braxton. He's very well positioned. There it comes to the flank of Gary Jones, but off your shot, Mr. Braxton was right there, and he said it was a couple of inches forward. This time, Neath up for a shortened liner. Kembry wins it. That's from half his pickering. Now it's into midfield again. It's ball again. Standing off is Morris. He takes it. The flanker shakes off the first tackle. Iwan Jones takes the tackle, though. Now it's laid back. Replacement Phillips is there. Bridges. 13 is Leite. His kick isn't the best one, but it still goes to his left wing, Edmonds, as they win it again. Into midfield again. Ball. Bateman. Pickering in midfield. Thorburn again on the charge. Gets it. But mishandling from Pickering, the ball just a little bit slippery as we have a little drizzle. But good play from Neath. The kick from Stevens fails to find touch. Thorburn will return with interest into midfield. That lands perfectly, but what a good catch from Bird and space for bowling. He opts for the kick behind the defence. He chases. Good defensive work though by Neath. Indeed, Edmonds comes away with that, shows it. He's got support from Pew. There's a huge gap for the prop. Leite is there. He now goes for the gap. Morris off his elbow. Can he get it to Higgs? He's inside to Leite. Yes, it's a try. No, says the referee. Somehow, Neath failed to score there. It seemed a try all the way. But 
finally out of space. Alan Edwards had done superbly well. I thought there was bound to be a try. Just watch here. This is the key to it. A lovely short pass there to Martin Morris. And Leighty not content just to give the pass. He's looking for the support on the inside. Lovely play by the centre. Very strong. And he shows, speaks a lot for Mark Douglas' strength. Leighty would have scored that 9th out of 10. But he forces him to touch and goal. That's the threesome there. Four international players in a row there for me. From number eight backwards. As Jones wins that with eight on his back. Williams the man on the peel. This is Bridges, the scrum half. This is Pugh, number three, the prop forward. Held by Gary Jones up to the 22. Driven on again by the captain, Phillips. As Pugh finally enters the fray. Released by Roland Phillips. Standing off is Jason Ball. Charged down by Colin Stevens. Back there is Mark Jones. Down and up very quickly from Jones. Indeed, good work from him. As Lesley now drive on. And indeed... The referee decides that Tlethi were going over the top. Not easy to determine that when a team is driving on like that. All it needs then is for the ball to carry some 40 metres in this direction. And Neath, for the first time in the match, will be ahead. And that is a beautifully struck kick from Paul Corbin. And that's just the tonic that his teammates will have wanted. At last, they nose their way in front. And now, with a breeze at their backs, Tenefi have a real fight on their hands. <laughs> Stevens wants his men back a yard as that goes far too long as far as his forwards are concerned offers Morris the chance to build up some momentum again and quickly there the rest of the forwards but trampling says the referee Colin Stevens then 25 points to his credit already this season not really the main line kicker when Jeff Bird is in the team but responsibility handed to him on this occasion Bird not really on song a kick then of 38 meters straight into the wind straight in front and to the delight of the Strati faithful regains that lead for Tlenefi it's now Tlenefi 14 Neath 12 Obviously, Lynn Davis is keeping his better words for the end of the programme. We hope to be back with Lynn at Stradley Park a little bit later. Let's change the sport. Cardiff City Football Club are having a tough time in Barclays League Division 3. Only two points from eight matches.